It is this style that I want to teach you, step by step, detail by detail. If you'll view these scenes over and over again and practice what I am about to show you, I guarantee that it will improve your bow hunting success. Let me emphasize that this is the hill style as he taught me personally and privately. There are some others that claim to represent his style. You better check their credentials or you'll be misinformed. One fellow wrote in a national magazine regarding Howard's style of shooting the bowl. He said that at the moment of release, you relax both hands. That'll get you a cracked nose and some loose teeth. Howard held to some unwavering principles in perfecting his shooting. To him, these were absolute law. He stressed what every athlete knows is of utmost importance, and that is proper form. While learning this form, which is your foundation, you shouldn't deviate from that form for several weeks and don't put any target on the bales. To try to hit a target and concentrate on learning your form just won't work. When Howard was nearly 60 years old, he would periodically go out and shoot anywhere from 50 to maybe 100 arrows for form, following into detail the steps that I'm about to show you. Howard used to say about form, if your form's right, you won't be too far off at 50 yards. Now don't dismiss this as too simple. It's the foundation for all the hill style of proper hunting, shooting technique. Learn it, practice it, and it'll get results for you. What I want to cover is basic form, drawing, anchor, release, knocking arrows, and sighting. Let me tell you something. Static style won't get it. You don't walk through the woods with your bow arm extended, and yet it amuses me that so many bow hunters, when they get ready to shoot, they extend that arm and draw the bow back. That's tournament style. And I personally don't believe that tournament style fits in the woods. Now, you may make some hits under ideal conditions, but you know, I've hunted since I was a boy, rifle and shotgun, and then in these last years with a bow, and those ideal conditions are few and far between. It's a fact that most traditional bow hunters usually shoot lower scores on paper, but have a higher bow hunting success. In learning this style, one of the most important things, and I'll emphasize it over and over again, is the angle of the shoulder to the target. Howard faced his pupil at right angles to the target. The bow hand hangs loosely at the side. And as we begin our draw, the bow hand will come up in a straight line toward the target the drawing hand will come up across the chest almost to its apex and then take a straight back motion to the corner of the mouth. Now, if you'll watch this, it becomes one fluid continuous motion. The bow hand comes up, the drawing hand comes up, finishes in a straight back motion. To coordinate this right, the bow hand must rise slightly faster than the drawing hand. The reason being that when the bow hand is on target, this hand, the drawing hand, should be at the corner of the mouth. Shouldn't be any unnecessary hesitation. When you're at anchor, you ought to be on target and ready to release. All right, now let's watch that again. This is just the basic drawing form. The bow hand comes up and the drawing hand follows, coming in a straight back line to the anchor, which is at the corner of the mouth. You don't want the straight back motion to be more than about six or eight inches. Otherwise, you lose the mobility of the whole idea 
in this style of shooting. All right, we'll do it one more time. Basic position, the shoulder always at right angle to what you're shooting at. This never changes. Whatever else your body position might be, that will never change. Always remember that shoulder, the bow arm shoulder, stays in line with the target you're shooting at. All right, we draw up and we come straight back to the corner of our mouth. Just exactly where you anchor will vary according to your facial structure. I try to anchor with my middle finger actually at the corner of my mouth. All right, then, after you've come that far in your basic form, you'll notice that as I come to anchor, the body takes a slight, word, slight forward motion, the head is tilted, at anchor, my fingers are at the corner of my mouth and my thumb is below my ear and behind my jawbone. If you learn to do that right in reality, you'll have two reference points or two anchors. So watch carefully. Head forward, body forward, the bow cannon. It comes up, straight back motion, at anchor, and you're ready for release. Now, at the release, this is a very critical part of the shooting. You pick up the string at about the first joints. The little finger is back. You can use your thumb to depress it if you want. If you don't learn to keep that little finger back, you'll get a soft release, I call it. If you'll hold it back and out of the way, it gives you more resilience in your release. Now at anchor, as we've come up and at anchor, there should be no flying away from the face. The bow hand should remain in your face. It might take a slight backward motion, but no coming back, no coming away from the face. You want to remember, you come to anchor, the fingers just move smoothly forward. All right, now I'll look at my bow hand. That bow hand stays stationary. The first thing, if you'll notice, when I picked up the bow and began my draw, I got a hold of it. Howard used to say, get a hold of it. Heal the bow. That's contrary to tournament shooting, but Howard healed the bow, exerted a little pressure, and you'll find that'll work fine for you. As you come up and you make your release, if you'll heal that bow just a little, keeping that Broken elbow, you won't get any forward cast, you won't get any side cast, you won't get any down cast. Howard's rule was, upon release, with both hands do nothing. In other words, be stationary. And he would make us hold that position until the arrow was in the target. That's proper follow through. The only time that might vary is on moving targets, and that would depend on the speed of your target. Other than that, Try to keep the hands as stationary as possible. Let's repeat that and do it again, and this time I'll shoot some arrows. We're talking about our basic form, our feet about shoulder width apart, our bow hand comes up straight in line with the leg, the drawing hand comes diagonally across the body until it's almost at the top of the draw, then it takes a straight back motion until it finds its anchor at the corner of the mouth. I want you to watch the fingers as I release, how they move just forward. The hand stays in the face. Watch the bow hand, no kicking to the side, no down cast. And then watch my upper body position as I lean forward toward my shot, tilting my head just a little. All right, the bow hand stayed stationary. The anchor just let the fingers come forward at release. Watch this again. Watch how the bow hand rises just slightly faster than the drawing hand. Head stays tilted. Watch the thumb under the ear. No motion. This hand's steady. 
this hand stayed in the face, that's proper form 